everybody, welcome to July Favorites. Just a little programming note, I'm filming this before the end of the month because um, the last week of July I was on a, well I will be. When you're watching this it's in the past tense, as I'm filming this it's in the future. So I'm filming this uh, towards the end of July, the last week of July I will be on or have been on a cruise ship co cruising the coast of Alaska so I wanted to get this filmed before we left so I could have this up for you in time to view today. Okay, that was confusing. So. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to reference the Alaska cruise because it hasn't happened in my world just yet. So here are the July favorites up to just about the first 20 some odd days of the month. Um, not a whole lot, but the ones I have are huge standouts. So let's start with the intangibles that were amazing. So um, Michael and I took a mini break to the um, lodge at Pebble Beach, to Pebble Beach Resorts. Trip of a lifetime. If you haven't seen that vlog, I will click that eye thing that you see floating around up there. I'll take you right to it. Just amazing, beautiful weather, beautiful resort, beautiful time spent alone with Michael, which we realized we have never taken a trip, just the two of us, that wasn't for business since our honeymoon. That was 20 years in the making. We gotta fix that. Okay, um, also I got my hair cut. If you haven't noticed, it's, it's a little shorter. Uh, it's four inches shorter and I'm having the time of my life with it. There is a video coming up in the next week or so showing you how I style it, what I use. Um, and then of course, I'm sure uh, the Alaska cruise will be a favorite, but since it hasn't happened yet, I can't talk about it. Um, let's get on with the actual things I can show you. I was in an Instagram live and I do those a lot. And um, there was someone who works with cover effects watching and she reached out to me afterwards and said, hey, have you ever tried anything from our brand? And I said, it's one of those brands that's on my list but I haven't gotten around to. And she said, well, let me send you some things. So um, two products, huge standouts for me. I just wanted to share them with you. I've never enjoyed a mattifying setting spray in my life. I find them usually to be very, well, dry and matte. But this one from cover effects is the mattifying setting spray. They have two. There's an illuminating one, which I haven't really given a, a try because I'm shiny enough this time of year. But the mattifying one is amazing because it does extend the makeup. But what's even more interesting is it takes, it, it mattifies what you want matte, but like you can still see my highlight going on right there. So it doesn't mess with your highlighting and all that. Um, and I have very dry skin and this has worked great in the Texas heat. So definitely recommend this. Thank you, Cover Effects. The other thing they sent me that I'm really enjoying, apparently is also a favorite of Jaclyn Hills, is their Perfect Setting Powder. Yeah, that's all. That's what it's called. Perfect Setting Powder. And it's just loose powder. And it it's very lightweight and it sets really nicely. And again, not mattifying, not drying, but just a nice even finish to the skin. So love it. And I have it in the shade Translucent. Another product that was sent to me that I, first of all, just the packaging alone would make this a standout, but it's from the brand that I just almost dropped. It's from the brand Givenchy, and um, this is a lip balm. This is the coolest lip balm I've ever had. This is, the packaging is pink leather with chrome accents, and it has almost like these little stud grommet things on the bottom. You pull it out, and it's this uber skinny little very faintly pink tinted lip balm. I brought this with me on my vacation to Pebble Beach. I've left this in my purse since I've been home. It is very effective as a lip balm, so that's good. It does, if you just want a very natural look, it gives you a very faint pink tint to uh, the lips, barely there. Um, it is moisturizing, but this packaging is amazing as well. So it's just a win-win all around. I love it. I have to recommend it. Thank you, Givenchy. Going on with what else I have on my face. This is a rediscovery. I bought this a long time ago, like maybe years ago, and then kind of forgot about it. And I've been reaching for it a lot because my go-to eye look pretty much for the month has been a very neutral, you know, brown toned eye with a uh, shimmer on the lid from my Chanel cream shadow. Um, the official name is Illusion d'Ombre in the shade number 90, Convoitise, I'll put it below. Um, but this has been my go-to neutral. It's a Clinique eyeshadow quad, and this is the Teddy Bear quad, and I use all four colors. It's just a really easy, if you want to just keep it a matte eye and not add the, the glimmer in the middle, you can do that. But I'm loving these little quads. Great quality. Clinique does not get a lot of love for their eyeshadows, but this one is fabulous. I also have the quad Pink Chocolate 
that um, I use with the other cream eyeshadow I have from Chanel, which is um, very similar in finish to MAC All the Glitters. Remember that shadow? So, um, but this one is a standout teddy bear. Love it. Let's talk about what is on my lips before I start raving about another product that will, I think is catapulted to the top of my foundation list. On my lips, this is a funny story. So Estee Lauder reached out to me recently and said, hey, is there anything you're interested in trying from our line? And I don't know if you guys do this, but if I'm flipping through magazines or scrolling through stuff on the internet, if there's something I see that I'm fascinated with, I'll tear it out or screenshot it. And there had been an ad for, or it was on Pinterest or maybe it's Instagram I saw, um, an ad by Estee Lauder for this lipstick and the model was wearing this color, but I didn't, it didn't say what, what the name of the shade was on her face. So I took the screenshot, I emailed it to Estee Lauder and said, I really just would love to know the name of this lipstick. Well, this is from their new line. It's called the Pure Color Love Lipstick. Totally different packaging, as far as I can tell, exclusive to Ulta of all places. And the lipstick name, the one that I'm obsessed with, is called Appropriately Crazy Beautiful. And I think it is. And I love it. It's right here. I will say I don't love, it comes to an extreme tip, like a square, very tapered, chiseled tip, which I, I don't know how I feel about that as much. It's fine on the lower lip, but I don't have a lot of lip surface, so I have to be a little more precious with how I put it on, but this color is just amazing. But this Crazy Beautiful is in fact Crazy Beautiful. It is the perfect neutral pink. Not too girly, not too young, just everyday wearable. It's very creamy, so it's not gonna be a long wearing lipstick. I'd say you get a good four hours. If you eat, forget it, it's gone after you eat, but I don't care, I love it. And once it's gone, I will be repurchasing this myself. It's that, it's just so good. This is now my, this has replaced my beloved Guerlain Lingerie de Peau. I'm pretty sure it's as good, probably better than the original formula that I raved about for years and years and years. I'm almost embarrassed to admit how I heard about this. Um, I was watching, okay, so Jaclyn Hill, if you haven't heard of her, she's kind of a mega, uber huge um, beauty YouTuber here. And she did a collaboration with Kim Kardashian West and I had to watch that. I mean, how could you not? Watch that. I, dude, I've never actually seen a full episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but I am fascinated with Kim Kardashian's makeup, so I had to see this. Um, so anyway, they were doing this Get Ready With Me. It was, it was surreal. And um, Kim Kardashian looks at Jaclyn and says, your skin is flawless and perfect. What foundation do you use? And Jaclyn says, it's the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. And I'm like, I have to have it. <laughs> So I went to Nordstrom earlier in the month. I got a pretty good size sample. I used it a few times. The first time I used it, I'm like, that's it. This is amazing. It is a satin finish. It's not dewy. So if you have oily skin, you can definitely wear this. Um, it's definitely satin. It's very lightweight on the skin, but it's it covers beautifully. It wears for a really long time. Your skin looks perfect without looking like cakey and heavy and fake plastic face. I am wearing it in the shade 15, so I'll put a link to that below. I, oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Did I mention that I love it? I mean, I'm just so excited I found my new all-time favorite foundation. Until the next one, right? Okay, another product, it was sent to me. Um, this is by Jergens. it's the Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. So it's a basically in-shower tanner. After you're done showering, you turn off the water, and you put this on all over. Don't put it on your face, but you put it on all over. And I thought, this isn't gonna work. Um, I, they sent me both shades, but I only have used the medium to tan, which is the darker of the two. And it's amazing. Um, if you're starting from scratch, it's gonna take a while to build up any color, but what I really, like I'd say like, if you use it every day, maybe four or five days in, you'll see some color. But what I really, really like this product for is after I've done my normal self tanning routine, like with my Saint Tropez tan or with my um, Tarte Brazilians tanner, this extends it and this really keeps it going far longer. And um, the key though, so that it doesn't go blotchy, is um, the instructions say, you, you know, you smooth it on all over your body and then you towel dry when you get out of the shower. Do not, when you're toweling dry, don't just swoosh, just pat, pat yourself dry. Takes a little longer to pat, pat, pat,
but if you're swiping, that's how you get streaky. I've had zero streaks, none, but I just pat, 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 and then make sure that you wash your hands when you get out of the shower because otherwise you have tan hands and that looks a little strange. One more thing to show you, um, these earrings, I cannot stop wearing them. I'm not wearing them right now because I thought maybe you'd get sick of them. I'm wearing a different pair. These are fun, aren't they? But these, they're both from Bobble Bar, but these are the favorites. These are the um, Venus Drop, I believe. They're rose gold. They have a tiny little rose gold like crystal in the middle. They dangle from the ear, sort of. They have like a longer post. So they're not dangly, like they don't move. But And surprisingly lightweight. I'm all about the lightweight earrings now. So um, I love, I just love them. They're just a fun little accent. Look how they pop against gray. Pretty cool. Okay, speaking of which, some standouts from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Did you really think I was gonna get through a video this time of year without mentioning it? Um, one of them is this little shirt jacket that I'm wearing from Caslon. It's their peplum jacket. It's just a little bit different and it's a great layering piece even now in the summer with the crazy air conditioning stuff going on. I just, I love it. And then I have to just talk about, I did buy another one of the Barefoot Dreams cardigans. This is in the stone color. It's like holding a cloud in your hand or like cuddling with a, the most plushest teddy bear ever. I have it in the extra small small. I do have the navy in medium. The only discernible difference, it's a smidgen less snug if, in the arms if you go a size up and it's a teeny bit longer like negligible you know I don't I, I don't think you can go wrong with either size I wear the navy one more like a robe so it's a little bulkier and a little bigger and a little more um, cozy and then this extra small small just hugs my body a little bit more so this one's a little better for like leaving the house and walking around in and then a technique I have to share with you um, a youtuber that I've mentioned many times before I adore her her name is Ruth Crilly also known as a model recommends she's in the UK She's now a mom of two, little tiny, like two under two. And um, she talked about a, a technique where you put your sunglasses on, mine are now filthy, and then you put your bronzer on around where the sunglasses are. So the idea is to not put bronzer anywhere where you would have sunglasses on. That makes it look like a natural tan. It's a very subtle difference, but I did it today and I've been doing it since I saw the video and it's brilliant. I think it works. If you're struggling with how to make your bronzer look natural, pop on a pair of oversized sunglasses are the key or just oversized, maybe I'm getting, I'll get safety goggles so I can actually see what I'm doing. And then you just swipe it on across the nose, all over. It's kind of like color, color by numbers. So love that. As far as other favorites, um, what I've been reading, I've still been reading all the Alaska books. There's two series by Dana Stabenow, or Stabenow, I don't know how to pronounce her name. One features Kate Shugak who is a um, native Alaskan and it's a mystery series and I just finished the series. There's 21 books in the series. I've been working my way rereading and then reading the new book. And then there's another series featuring Liam Campbell who um, lives in a different part of the state and there are a couple stories where they interact. So that's kind of fun to see the character overlap between the two stories. Both are mystery series. So if you're into a good mystery series and you wanna learn a little bit more about Alaska on top of it, I recommend both of those series. And then as far as TV shows, July has been a good month. So um, Jake introduced Michael and I to the series called Westworld. It's, it will suck you in. There's only one season out right now. It's 10 episodes and we just went right through them all. It's, it, I don't even know how to describe it. Like just, I'll put a link to it. Just read the description. It's so weird. It's like Twilight zone -y, but I, it just sucks you in. Just it, Go through two episodes and I dare you to stop thinking about it. Um, also, Real Housewives of Orange County started. Woo! Who's excited for that? I'm excited for that. Would love to know, are you Team Lydia, Team Vicky, Team Kelly? Whose team are you on? Team Shannon? I would love to hear that feedback. And then, um, oh yeah, the other premiere this month, kind of huge, Game of Thrones, winter is coming, um, which is kind of funny that it coincides with the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I thought, with like all the winter sale, all the winter clothes now on sale and then winter is coming. Okay, that's where my mind goes. Anyway, so excited and sad, final series, final season of the series, but yep, Team Daenerys, she's my favorite. Okay, those were the July favorites. Hope y'all had a wonderful month. Let me know what your highlights were. Lots of fun things in the pipeline. So please, please, please don't forget to subscribe 
Um, links to everything I've mentioned are down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.